hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and this is the Lesney Matchbox 55A DUKW. It was produced from 1958 until 1963. The amphibious vehicle was the third military vehicle to be introduced to the series, following the half-track then the Saracen. My example has lost its two front wheels and axle, so I'll be replacing those today. Here's how the DUKW should appear with all six wheels. And this is the real thing, more commonly known as a duck. As the DUKW is a General Motors product, its DUKW name stems from GM's nomenclature from the era. D referenced the 1942 production, U stands for utility, K indicates front wheel drive, while W represents tandem rear axles, both driven. As such, the DUKW was six wheel drive, having been based on the GMC AFKWX. This was a cab over engine version of the CCKW, known as the Jimmy. It had a watertight hull and propeller added, driven by a five-speed overdrive transmission powering the transfer case, and a separate two-speed transfer case for the axles. Its engine was a four-liter straight-six unit. The DUKW had a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour on road and 5.5 knots on water. To minimise weight, it was unarmoured, while a high capacity bilge pump kept it afloat if the thin hull was breached. It was the first vehicle to allow the driver to vary tyre pressure from inside the cab, allowing for versatility for use on harder road surfaces or softer surfaces like beaches. 21,147 DUKWs were built for use by the US and Allied forces. 2,000 were supplied to Britain, and a further 1,000 supplied to Australian forces and the Soviet Union. They initially saw action in the Pacific Theatre, before entering European service in July 1943 in the invasion of Sicily. They were later utilised in the Normandy invasion on D-Day. Reduced numbers were kept in service after the end of the war, though several hundred were redeployed by the US Army in 1950 at the outbreak of the Korean War. Many DUKWs entered civilian service after World War II and were used by fire services, rescue units and police. And many remain in use to date. The first duck tour company started in 1946 in Wisconsin Dells. These used the DUKW to navigate rivers, harbours and lakes as tourist attractions and are popular in cities around the world. But here is my replacement axle for the front wheels, using a blind rivet. The wheels would be secured as they are half obscured by the body when it's overlaid. The casting for me is a little uninspiring. It could have been improved with some added play features. While the other military vehicles of the time were exceptionally detailed, this feels a little bland by comparison. Both its Saracen and Half-Track predecessors outlived it by two and four years respectively. There were no variations to the body, and no trim was ever applied. It did have its wheels changed from metal to plastic, black or grey, and late examples had rounded axle ends instead of crimped. But here is how it looked before. Yes, frustratingly, I forgot to record the before turntable footage, so these stills will have to do I'm afraid, and for the next four videos. Anyway, here it is now, with a new coat of olive drab, and a replacement set of metal wheels. These I've painted in a similar shade to the existing metal ones. I've also had to fabricate an axle to replace the missing one using a blind rivet. But there's not a lot to say otherwise, as unfortunately it didn't come with any detailing. There are some cast intricacies, with the spare tyre and supply crate on the rear, but it isn't remotely close to the radio truck from the following year for instance. So sorry it's been a bit of a basic build, this one. It's a shame that the model doesn't quite stack up to the real DUKW. But if you enjoyed the story and my efforts, do please leave a like and leave a comment with your thoughts. Don't go without subscribing if you haven't already, and please consider supporting the channel via Patreon. My thanks, as always, go out to my existing patrons. But all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching, and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now.